What is up fragrance friends? I'm Tommy with Studio Sense and welcome to today's video review. Hope your day is going awesome out there. Looking forward to doing this review because it's a brand new fragrance release from the house of Lalique. Now, Lalique is one of those houses that creates designer fragrances, but they're very niche quality. Many of them are. The Ancre Noir line, you've got Lalique Equus, Lalique Long Voyager, and most notably a very popular high heat spring and summer fragrance, Lalique White. So when we come back, we're going to take a closer look at a brand new 2021 release, Lalique White in Black. Take a look at an interesting marketing concept, that and more, so stay tuned. Hey guys, and welcome back. So today's video is going to be a review of a brand new 2021 release from the House of Lalique. It is Lalique White in Black. Kind of a kitschy name, but what's interesting about this fragrance is very similar to CK1 Summer, that you could customize your bottle. So there's a little sheet of stickers that say, wow, cool, whatever, and you could put it on the bottle and make it look however you want. They went a little bit further with Lalique and they included a pencil that you can write on the actual bottle. The bottle itself is similar to a chalkboard, insofar as you can write on the bottle with chalk or the pencil that they provided and kind of customize the bottle. Put your name on it, put a message on it, which is pretty cool. So let's take a look a little bit closer at that presentation. So as you might imagine, it would be the box is all black with the exception of Lalique white and then the box in black is in is white and the words in black is in black. It's the color contrast that they've created. You've got Lalique and Eau de Parfum. So it's an Eau de Parfum concentration and it is a 125 ml bottle. You've got the Lalique symbol here, which appears on several of the Lalique like Lalique Linsomi and Linsomi Ma Force. Awesome fragrances by Lalique. The bottom of the box has your QR code, your UPC, your stick stickers and your batch Charlie Zero Bravo 21 so C zero B 21 for those interested on the very back it indicates that there's a gift inside I showed you guys a close-up of the pencil which says hashtag make your mark the pencil to customize your bottle coated with a unique matte finish to make your mark I have to admit I like that concept a lot more than CK summer stickers because let's face it when you're putting a sticker on something you're not really customizing it because you're putting someone else's idea sticker on something else you're not it's not really your idea but with a pencil you can really write whatever you want it reminds me of certain coffee houses where you can go to and they have like a chalkboard in the bathroom and you can leave your wisdom of the day or whatever it's your very own customizable chalkboard really easy to write came right off with a, just a dry cloth the presentation itself is just like Lalique white except obviously in black and that matte finish allows for writing whatever you want very comfortably with that pencil and it works really well it's just a little bit of chalk basically is all it is so if you lose the pencil never fear you can use chalk Lalique white of course in white just like the box in black is a white box with black lettering and your silver lid now if you really wanted to write a message and leave it for someone you were desperate you could actually use the entire back of this which is a lot more flat there's like a curvature to the front of the bottle but not as much of a curvature on the very back so that's kind of cool but what about that juice inside let's talk about the note breakdown Lalique white and black features top notes of Italian bergamot grapefruit and frankincense or olivinum with heart notes of cardamom pink pepper 
LME resin, and lavender extract. Resting on a base of white cedar, patchouli, tolu balm, ambroxan, and vanilla. Is marketed as an aromatic spicy fragrance for men. And taking a quick look at those notes indicates it's definitely going to be a little spicier than Lalique White. And maybe a little bit more for... What's interesting is they're releasing a fragrance that looks like it might be better suited for cooler weather in the middle of summer. But you never know. Just because it has like frankincense and vanilla in it doesn't mean that it is a wintertime fragrance. We definitely have some good examples of that. Most recently, Maritime Triumph by Tommy Bahama. Underrated new fragrance. It's a new release, 2021 release. But let's check out this juice and see what it smells like. And then we'll make our own decision as to what season it's for. Now, I gotta say that the atomizer is quality. It's like that Sean John 3AM atomizer or a ton of other fragrances that employ really good, you know, that spend money on atomizers. And that's the one thing about Lalique. Their quality is so good. And then the fragrance quality is a lot of times very niche-like, but they're very inexpensive, very inexpensive. Oh guys, now this is this is my playing field right here. This is what I'm talking about. This is a very aromatic, spicy fragrance. This is definitely something you'll want to rock out in wintertime, but there'd be nothing wrong with wearing this kind of fragrance in the middle of summer. Now it's not going to be a high heat fragrance, it's just going to give it some, this has got a nice woody body to it. It is a fragrance that is similar to Armani Code A-List, powdery, talcum-y, lightly basalmic kind of fragrance. Very much like A-List. This reminds me very much like a little bit of A-List and a little bit of Absolute. If you like anything about those fragrances, you'll probably really like. I'm going to try it out on skin. Let's give that just a moment and I'll give you an encapsulation of the open and then my final thoughts on the dry down. All right guys, I gotta tell you, this is a banger of a fragrance. And when I say banger, I don't necessarily mean something that's loud and ambroxan bomb scratchy like a Dior Sauvage. I mean banger as in good quality for a really good price, or at least what's going to be a good price when the price does drop. La Ligue has managed to do it again. Think about it, you've got LME resin, you've got alibinum or frankincense, and you've got tolu balm, and you've also got some cardamom in there. In the background, infused is ambroxan, which pushes all those notes forward. It's almost like the leader or director of the symphony, only this time he's in the background pushing forward the other players, the other notes, and the fragrance. It's a really nice oriental spicy symphony of a fragrance, honestly. It's very resinous, it's lightly powdery, it's very warm, it's not even, you've got that ambroxan in the background that gives it that modern feel, but it's not a heavy load, it's not an overload of ambroxan. It's actually a really smooth kind of ambroxan. It's just the perfect balance, and that's why I use the term symphony or choreography when everything works really well together in tandem it becomes this other thing you know it's it's a really nice blend it's projecting really well off my arm only time will tell if it's got some longevity behind it or if it's one of those stealth fragrances that kind of sneaks up on you over time vanilla is reminiscent of mercedes-benz club black got that same vanillic feel to it only not quite as heavy some people will take issue with the fact that it's not quite as heavy or outgoing as that this is a little bit more of an intelligent version of a Mercedes Club Black. It's not as vanilla forward. You got a nice white cedar wood base. It's a lightly woody. Lalique White and Black seems to be mimicking the refinement of an Armani Code fragrance. As such, it can be worn casually and it can also be used in upscale environment. It does have that really nice, rich, I don't want to say aristocratic, but it has that money feel, that money smell, that money sense, sensibility about it. So it's going to be one of those fragrances that are very versatile. Definitely can wear in spring and summer, just not going to be a heavy heat fragrance. Right now you can pick up Lalique White and Black at Harrods. As a blind buy, this would be a very safe purchase. I'm telling you right now guys, you're going to really enjoy this fragrance. If you enjoy fragrances like Armani Code, Armani Code A-List, Armani Code Absolute, Zadigi Voltaire, this is him. Anything with a little bit of resinous background with some a little bit of fur feeling. And this one, of course, making best use of that modern ambroxan to give it some life, some longevity. It's about 97 bucks for a 125 ml bottle at Harrods right now. And I'll leave a link in the description below in case you're interested in picking a bottle up for yourself. Plus, don't forget a really cool creative aspect. You can put your own message. Something like that. And I know 
my writing is crap, but that's just an example of the blackboard of Lalique White and Black. Well guys, that's it for my unboxing and first impressions of Lalique White and Black. Another great release from Lalique, fantastic house. One of my favorite designer houses that are very close to niche quality. Thanks so much for stopping by and checking out today's video. And as always, thank you so much for your support on my channel. I'm Tommy with Studio Sense, and I'll see you tomorrow.